Welcome guys, today we're going to do a dual radiator setup on this IS300. I got this idea from the Lone Star Drift Channel. They featured an S chassis with a V8 swap and instead of bypassing the heater core lines like a lot of us do, he ran an additional radiator in the back of the vehicle. I'm not going to run an entire rear radiator setup on this car, but I had an idea that might work. All right, essentially this setup is basically like moving the heater core to the outside of the vehicle. I know a lot of times when a car is overheating, you can turn the heat on full blast and it'll cool it down some. Now, in Florida, it's hot as shit, so I don't want to have the heat I'm blowing on my face while I'm drifting. So we're going to move this thing to the outside of the vehicle. I got this cooler set up on eBay for $77. Came with the fan, ordered some uh, 10 AN line and some 10 AN 90 degree fittings. Now we're gonna make a bracket for this thing and uh, see if it works. All right, so here's the heater core lines on this 2JZ. We got this one here. We'll have to run one of the lines off of here and then the other one over here. So we'll remove these lines and then we'll run our new lines. 